I can't say anything with S right now. Ew. I kind of have a lisp today. Hold on. Hey besties. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. We are in the car today, which is kind of random. We're like never in my car. But today we are going self-care shopping at Target. Okay, autofocus. Can you focus on me, not the steering wheel? I'm so excited because I have not been self-care shopping in so long. I can't even tell you the last time I went and just like bought a bunch of self-care items all at once. Like I usually just buy them whenever they run out. But since it's a new year, I decided I would go and do some self-care shopping so I can stock up on everything I need and just things I want to try honestly. We're gonna be going to Target and possibly Ulta because there's an Ulta near this Target I'm going to. The first thing I need to do though is go get gas because girl we got 88 miles left and that's scaring me a little bit. Gotta put these bad boys back in. Oh my goodness. So when we went self-care shopping, I was mainly looking for things that I knew I would actually use. Trying to film for this video in this Target was actually so scary because one, it was kind of busy, and two, they had everything locked up, so anytime I would need something from them, I would have to get a worker to come get it out for me. And it was the same thing in Ulta, like it was so busy and my anxiety was just through the roof the entire time. But I tried my best to get as many clips as I could, even though I was freaking out. <laughs> all time so i didn't end up filming as much as i wanted to in target for some reason it was kind of busy in this target i think it's because it's connected to a mall also they had music on so i was gonna have to do a voiceover anyways and also for some reason all the targets around me i don't know if this is like every target I have everything like locked up now so i'm not able to just like pull stuff down off a shelf and smell it or try it you know what i'm saying and i would have felt bad having the worker like come open up the cabinets every time i wanted to try something so i tried my best to get as much footage as i could let's just get into the actual haul starting off with target i didn't get any target bags because i brought my twice bag the first thing i got from target is just my favorite red bull strawberry apricot one if you live in washington and you know what red bull drinks are this mixed with the chobani sweet cream save your money on bigfoot Go make this at home anyway it'll probably cost the same but like try it out for the actual self-care products the first thing i got was just bar of soap of eczema so my skin is really sensitive when it comes to different body washes i actually already have the body wash version of this but i decided to get the bar soap too because we're double cleansing over here. I also got an EOS shaving cream. I've been using this stuff since high school and surprisingly my skin doesn't hate it. So we're gonna keep using this probably forever. It smells really good too. This is the vanilla one. Then the next thing I got is something I see everyone get in their self-care videos. Got the vanilla cashmere EOS body lotion. You guys, this stuff, it smells so good. <coughs> I forgot to mention this in the beginning of the video, but I am sick right now, so. I'm a vanilla girly. I love anything vanilla scented and right now my perfume I'm using is the Ariana Grande Mod Vanilla perfume and I think this will go so good with it. Oh my goodness, dude. So I picked up a new razor. This is just from Athena Club. I usually get the Flamingo razors, but I saw this one and it was pink, so I got it. Hopefully this one's good. I'm not too picky with my razors, to be honest. I usually just get random brands anyways, so we got a pretty pink one at least. I also picked up some mouthwash. This is actually my favorite mouthwash right now. It's the TheraBreath one. I hate when mouthwashes like burn my mouth, and this one doesn't do that, so that's why I like it so much. Just a little expensive. I think this was like $9. Finally from Target, I just picked up a new makeup sponge. I saw people on TikTok using this brand and theirs just looks so nice and fluffy and that's what I need because the beauty blenders I use now are like from Amazon and they're hard. And this was only $5, like, okay. Next up we have is Ulta. First I just restocked on my shampoo. This is the Redken Acidic Bonding Concentrate. One of the hairstylists at Ulta actually recommended this to me. Hair definitely isn't like super damaged or anything, but I do notice that my hair doesn't get as oily and that's something I struggled with a lot before. If you're struggling with that too, definitely try this out. It is $32 though. Wait till you have the Ulta coupons. I also got a mini pack of the Mighty Patch Pimple Patches. This comes with six original and then six of the invisible ones. 
I'm trying to look for the full size box of the invisible ones because I like those, but I didn't have any, so I just got this pack. And finally, from Ulta, something I've been wanting to try for a minute now. We got a new concealer. This is the Hourglass Vanish Airbrush Concealer, and this is in the shade Sepia. Did I say that right? The shade 5. Hopefully this shade works out for me because I actually color matched it by myself. Problem I was having with my NARS concealer is that it's like kind of too dark for me right now because this is usually like my spring summer shade. I wanted to get a shade for the winter and also to like highlight my under eyes because girl, the under eyes are bad. I'll let you guys know if it ends up being my shade or not. Hopefully it is. I decided to just include this because I got this yesterday, but we have a little Sephora haul. First, I just picked up a full size of my Laneige toner. This is my favorite toner, guys. If you have dry skin, try this out. She works. And then this next thing, she's expensive. We are going to be real careful with her because I tend to break things that come in packaging like this. I got this Charlotte Tilbury powder. I'm actually so happy that I was able to, do you mind? I'm actually so happy I was able to find my shade. This is in the shade medium. I'm seeing this one all over TikTok and I've been wanting to try a pressed powder anyways. So it was $48 though. But we'll see if she works. I forgot to film an outro. So to end off this video, I want to say a few things. First off, take care of yourself in 2024. Self-care can be so healing and it's important to do things for yourself that not only make you feel good physically, but mentally. Whether it's going to buy self-care products or going on a nice walk, hope you can all take time this year to prioritize you and your happiness. And that's it for this video. Thank you all so much for watching and supporting my channel. I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.